highly anticipated matchup for the UFC middleweight division title. Looking to become the UFC middleweight champion of the world, here he is, the number one middleweight contender. For a long time, this man has been one of the best 85ers in the world, but this title fight eluded him. It is here right now, he is healthy, he is smack dab in the middle of his prime, and he believes he is the best 85er in the world and is out to prove just that tonight and walk away with 12 pounds of UFC gold. So here he is, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world. This man ubiquitously regarded as the top 85er at present. Some people believe this is the greatest middleweight of all time. He certainly does, and he has goals even beyond that. He wants to be one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time, and in order to preserve that goal, this is a title defense, simply put, that he's got to have. or tell the tape for this middleweight championship fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, to get us started now, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC middleweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of seven wins, two losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 184 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, presenting the challenger, Alex Poetar. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 12 wins, no losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, Hobbs and UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. Oh! Oh! Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Big punch man over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? All right, here we go first. Oh, and now a beautiful hip toss, DC. We'll see if he can capitalize from here. I mean, that was beautiful, the way that he took the underhook, stepped all the way across, and hit that 
hip toss. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to hook. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage on. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here, and if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you got to defend, but you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Oh, it looks like he's transitioning to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jiu-jitsu guys. He's going to take armbar here. He might get a finish here. This might just be a matter of time. Oh, and there's the tap, so he submits him with the arm bar. How about that? Great job. Great job. Unbelievable. What a fight. Yeah, really impressive work out of him here tonight. He had to work for it, no doubt about it, but a nice job to isolate and ultimately secure the arm and get the tap from the arm ball. So a pretty submission finish turned in by that fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. So there he is, ladies and gentlemen, the UFC middleweight champion of the world, your winner by submission tonight. And it is going to take a spectacular effort to dethrone this guy at 185 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 14 seconds of the very first round. Declared the winner by a tap out due to an arm bar. And still! Heard it there from Bruce Buffer and still.